Hello, my name is Professor Leon Sharp. I'm the program lead for the MSc Health Psychology, and this is really a little taster session to tell you what you can expect if you choose to study um, the MSc. For more information, um, because this is just a very brief introduction here, you can scan this QR code and it will take you to the website which has uh, more information about the program for you if you decide to apply. Now, the first question you may ask yourself is, um, how does health psychology relate to other disciplines? And if you have a grid where we um, go from left to right, uh, from disciplines from with a more psychological to more medical focus, and from uh, top to bottom, um, uh, ordering disciplines along um, their focus on from mental to physical disorders. In the top left-hand corner here, um, we have clinical psychology. So this focuses really on mental health and takes a biopsychosocial quite a comprehensive approach to treatment of mental health and mental issues. Um, on the right hand side, a more medical approach is uh, in psychiatry, which focuses on mental health as well, but takes a biomedical approach. Um, if we go down now towards uh, disciplines that look more into physical disorders, on the medical side, we have behavioral medicine, which focuses on physical health and is quite interdisciplinary. Um, and then you may have guessed it on the uh, bottom left hand uh, side, um, we have health psychology, which also has a greater focus on physical health. It's interested in the link between physical and mental health and also takes a comprehensive approach, uh, a biopsychosocial approach, but it's mostly focused on prevention and in the case of our program uh, on population health. Now, uh, this is a standard definition of health psychology. It's uh, defined as the aggregate of the specific educational, scientific, and professional contributions of the discipline of psychology to the promotion and maintenance of health, to the prevention and treatment of illness, to the identification of etiology and diagnostic correlates of health, illness, and related dysfunction, and to the analysis and improvement of the healthcare system and health policy formation. Well, that's the definition, but what does it mean in practice? So on our program, we will learn, uh, we will teach a number of things from uh, health psychology theory to the connection between physical and mental health, all the way over to cultural differences in health, as well as health inequalities. We will discuss specific health behaviors, such as smoking and alcohol, overeating and obesity, all the way to cancer screening. Uh, the program covers things such as the genetic basis of behavior and health, how to respond to public health crises such as a pandemic, and what is the psychology of that, all the way over again to uh, the NHS and actual applied healthcare, including doctor-patient communication and medical decision-making. So quite a broad coverage there. We, in terms of our aims, have a strong academic emphasis, and I should say that one of the unique points of our program is that we are accredited by the British Psychological Society. Um, and what we aim to do here is to provide you with advanced knowledge and understanding of theory and practice in health psychology. And the reason we are accredited by the BPS is that if you complete the master's, you fulfill stage one of a two-stage process to become a chartered health, psychology, health psychologist, which enables you to see uh, patients, among other things, and work in the hospital. We will also equip you with interpersonal, technical, and creative skills. We have a variety of methods of doing so, including teaching lectures, but also work, uh, practice, practical work. And we are trying to provide you with effective analysis skills and formulation of how to formulate health problems with what is really the bread and butter of any health psychologist, the effective design, implementation, and evaluation of health interventions, practicalities in research, and critical appraisal skills. We will also help your development as a researcher practitioner. And what we mean by this is some of you may want to go on to become an academic, so work in that field, but others want to be more applied and become a practitioner. And so we provide you with feedback and guidance and teaching to cover both of these aspects, including, for instance, uh, putting you in uh, touch with placement providers so you get some practical applied skills. In terms of the uh, content and support that we offer, we have eight core modules that are delivered in the first two terms. And these are a mixture of lectures, group work, seminars, and practicals, and they're delivered by experts in their field. And when I say delivered by experts in their fields, I give you some examples here. Among other things, we have, for instance, Professor Sir Michael Marmot, who is um, the author of the uh, very influential Marmot Review on Health Inequalities in the UK. He is also former president of the World Medical Association, and he started the Whitehall uh, cohort study. Uh, 
We have also close links with the Center for Behavior Change, which is led by Professor Susan Mickey, um, who is also regularly on TV, currently, for instance, in her role as a member of SAGE, advising the government. Our program director is Professor Andrew Stepto, who is a world leading expert in psychobiology and, among other things, also the founding editor of the British Journal of Health Psychology. Um, Dr. Daisy Fanko is one uh, of the uh, module co leads on our program, and she teaches on the program. She's a world leading expert in uh, the association between art and health, and also recently started the COVID 19 social study and is a regular contributor to um, media uh, interviews, etc. And even myself, I have um, provided the odd interview here and there in my capacity as an addiction researcher, and particularly focus on focusing on tobacco research. And Professor uh, Jamie Brown is another uh, uh, academic who contributes to our program, and you can see him here together with me giving evidence to the House of Commons Science and Technology Select Committee. We have varied assessments, um, including standard things such as essays and critical reviews, but uh, others are really meant to give you a leg up, as it were, in, the, uh, in your career following the master's. So you will learn how to write a systematic review and meta-analyses. You write a grant application, give a mock conference presentation. Um, there's peer-reviewed work as well as knowledge quizzes. And there's also a journal club that occurs in the first two terms, and this is providing you or should provide you with critical appraisal skills. There's extensive face-to-face contact and support available. We have a dedicated team of administrators and researchers who um, help run the program. You will be allocated both a personal and an academic tutor. And you see these uh, at least once a term each. And you will also have access to over 150 academics in our institute and beyond as supervisors for your research project at the end, uh, towards the end of the program. Now, most students will be interested or prospective applicants will be interested in their career prospects. And I can say that we are trying to uh, we understand this and that's why we have designed the program to increase the chances of becoming uh, a successful health psychologist thereafter or uh, becoming successful in whichever career you choose to go on to. So we offer, among other things, a placement uh, which lasts from between one week full time to six months part time. And uh, they are uh, mainly carried out in the third term and across a different variety of settings, including academic, clinical, governmental, and commercial, as well as third se sector settings. And here's some examples of placement providers over the years that have contributed to the MSc in health psychology. We also ask you to write up your dissertation as a paper, uh, in fact, as a mock submission to the British Journal of Health Psychology. And the reason for this is that it means that every year we have uh, numerous students who finish the program and they also go away with a peer reviewed publication, which will stand you in good stead when it comes to applying for jobs thereafter. And if you look at uh, career destinations, uh, a lot of us since go on to become research associates or then go on to do a PhD, become an academic, or they go on to more applied work as assistant psychologists, health psychologists, or clinical psychologists, go into civil service, or work in private uh, healthcare as a health consultant or health advisor. And uh, this is a graph showing you some data on this. Um, the key thing to note here is that those in white have no current plans. Everybody else at the point when they leave the masters have already a new career destination um, selected. But don't just listen to me as a program lead. I might be quite biased. Do listen to our students. And here is a brief video um, that tells you what our students feel about the masters. I'm Suha, and I'm doing the MSc in Health Psychology. Health Psychology is looking at the aspects of diseases and illnesses and the psychological, social and biological factors that are involved in that. I was attracted to this, to this discipline because I find that oftentimes in science is this kind of Cartesian dualism of like mind or body, but health psychology is kind of both of them. It's saying that yes, you can be ill, but how does that affect the way you behave and the way others behave around you and your place in society. Well, I'm really interested in sports. Um, I studied psychology in Spain, the bachelor's degree. So I was really interested in how, you know, health behavior affect, um, you know, physical, mental health, um, how they merge, um, how also sports um, and diet and those type of health behaviors um, work together and, you know, which are the attitudes of people towards um, 
those type of behaviors. I was trying to um, get a more in-depth understanding of uh, everything related to health, um, psychology, and you know, well-being. I really liked the chance that we got to um, shadow a person in an actual health setting. So I got to shadow a nurse at a rheumatology ward at UCLH. And that was really interesting to see how she not only had to be an expert in her field, but she also needed to know how to communicate with people and get the best out of them and make them understand why it's important to keep to their medication and keep coming back. Well, I think one of the main things of this course is that you get uh, both a sense of research and clinical practice. Um, because you have the opportunity of uh, going for placements throughout all the year, you've been offered placements, as well as uh, you've been lectured by top researchers in the field, and then you have the opportunity to do a dissertation at the end of the course, which you know gives you a bit of background of uh, both research and clinical. So I think that's the main thing of the course. You can get you know both both things. My name is Holly, and I'm currently studying an MSc in Health Psychology as part of an Economic and Social Research Council funded 1 plus 3 PhD. My PhD is part of a um, large dementia intervention which is called Promoting Independence in Dementia and my PhD will be focusing on evaluating the implementation so how well the intervention is delivered as intended and whether I can improve that to be more accurately delivered. I really like the fact that UCL has this global approach to education. I mean, it, it really promotes the idea of diversity in its students, and London's a perfect example of that as well. I love walking down the street and hearing like different languages and um, different people from all around the world. I'm hoping to become an academic, so I'd like to lecture and do research, um, and then possibly in the future I might go on to work in practice and things like that, so I might do chartership, but I'm not sure yet. So, there we have it, um, and as you can see also, by the way, this obviously showcases that we have quite a diverse group of students on the program, and we hope that you will check out our uh, program webpage and maybe see you uh, in 21-22 on the MSc Health Psychology. Bye from me.